This is 5 News at 6. We're starting tonight in Benton County, where jury selection began today for the trial of Shauna Cash. She's facing the death penalty for the murder of Pea Ridge police officer Kevin Apple. Prosecutors say back in June of 2021, Cash, along with her passenger Elijah Andazola, hit and killed Officer Apple with their car at a gas station. 5 News reporter Rachel Williams is outside the Benton County Courthouse with the latest. Rachel. Darren Alexander, today was a packed house in the courtroom with 182 potential jurors. The judge asked everyone if they had any conflicts within their schedule within a 10 to 14 day time frame. This morning, the judge qualified the panel by asking potential jurors if they know the prosecution, the defense, or any potential witnesses. Prosecutors are seeking the death penalty. Before Reese says, the defense raised concerns about the prosecutor's power to subpoena witnesses testifying on mitigating factors for the defense. Mitigating circumstances can impact sentencing, in some cases keeping the death penalty from being applied, even when the suspect is found guilty. They say that this might cause a chilling effect on their witnesses' testimony because they will be under oath. Benton County Circuit Judge Brad Karen says he doesn't see a problem with the subpoenas due to the previous case law. Because this case involves a fallen officer, many law enforcement officers are expected to attend even if they're not testifying. Judge Karen and the defense also raised concerns about having multiple police officers attending in full uniform, suggesting potential intimidation of witnesses on the stand. Karen says he'll address these uniforms concerns on a case by case basis. The judge did emphasize the courtroom is open to public viewing, including off duty police. Judge Karen says he is confident that they will have a jury selected by Friday, meaning the earliest opening arguments could start is this Monday, February 5th. But for now, I'm live in Bend County covering news where you live. Rachel Williams, 5 News.